welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing the market. Late night here for me tonight, almost 8.30, Thursday evening. And we had a really nice week. Um, could just take tomorrow off, actually. Uh, but I will be back at it early in the morning to see where we are. Right now, we're selling off tonight a little bit. 20 cents or so, we're down tonight. Post market's closed. Um, and we had the sell-off that I thought we'd have, although I didn't know what the Fed would say, and then I really didn't know how we'd react, and you never really know until we react. But, you know, looking at the way everything was setting up, I did think we would be lower Wednesday. But we very well could have rallied, um, and that's why when you take a trade and you assess how much you want to risk, you have to be willing to risk that amount of the trade, knowing that you could lose in the trade. If you're willing to do that, then you're willing to put the risk on to get the big reward, which we had this week, and I definitely had this week. So um, I had 100% conviction that the market was lower. I talked about it, talked about it, talked about it, talked about it in the room. I don't even remember what day that was now. It's just every day of this week seems to have run together. But we were short going into the week, and then we did more shorts. And um, so some of the biggest trades this week that we did, the, the biggest trades we, this week we did were in the market ETS, which was the QQQ in the spot. They obviously had big moves. Uh, we had other things that we did too. Uh, but the market had a lot of selling that was happening this week. And it, and it started to come in before today and even before yesterday. Um, and I think, you know, people trade and they want to make money and it's great when things work right away but sometimes they don't and you have to be patient and what helps me be patient in trades to let things play out to get the larger move which i did this week is understanding the chart understanding the gap and then of course my rating system so my rating system tells me that something's going to go in this direction and the displacement and if, if you believe in it, which I do, obviously I created this system, we're doing it for 15 years now, um, and I'm teaching people too, I believe in it, therefore, you know, I let things play out. But when you're new, it's hard to do that because you don't know and you're learning. So that's why it's important to trade and learn and understand and do it. And I think when people don't know what to do, it makes it very, very hard for them. They get upset, they get frustrated, they lose, they get mad. Um, if you bought the dip today, it did not work, nor did it work yesterday. And I think people will do something and continue to lose um, if they did it in the past and it made money temporarily, even though consistently it doesn't. And buying the dips is one of those things that people do that are retail traders because they understand buying and people prefer to go long rather than short. Not me, and I don't buy dips, and I don't prefer to go long, but I'm an anomaly, so... Um, I think, you know, focusing on shorts has definitely given me a niche. I can read the weakness in the market. I did a webinar, it was Monday, and we closed green. We were green in the day, but I said the market was very weak. And it was a good, it was a good read of this. I was right. We fell off the cliff the next day. In fact, at the webinar, I said, if we're down tomorrow, we're going to fall. And I was right. So, um, you know, the better you get at reading price action, the more money you can make. Um, it is a function of how much you risk, that's true. But every, you have to start where you're at and then go from there. So everybody wants to be at a different point and everyone wants to have more money and risk more money and all that, that's true. But you know, you're never gonna move forward unless you get grounded with where you are at right now today. The, se the second that you can accept where you are in the moment and get grounded, then you're gonna be able to take two steps forward and move forward and actually be able to take the steps forward and do it and then hold the foundation and move forward, progress with what you're doing, grow your cash and get somewhere with it. Trying to pretend that something is what it isn't or that you can get somewhere without actually even being grounded and being irrational about choices you're making or trading decisions is not gonna get you where you wanna be. What do I mean by irrational? I mean, you know, taking trades with a small amount of risk in something like futures or Forex or expecting to take a trade in like penny stocks you know, many of the trades that were what we call the Reddit stock picks that people did and made insane amounts of money, which was very few people. Uh, also, people that, you know, 
try to tell people that they can take a thousand dollars and make a hundred grand or five hundred dollars make a hundred grand in like a month or two or three that's those are you know those are completely irrational thoughts because it's not going to happen in 99.99 percent of the instances what is a rational thought is that you can actually apply a system to trade the market take whatever amount of money you have and grow it slowly and exponentially over time and then you make more and that's what I mean by being grounded. Say, okay, if you have $10,000 in a trading account, you want to trade options. Could you grow that account to 15,000? And I'm just going to be conservative between now and the end of the year. Yes, yes, you could. You could have actually made five grand with 10 grand this week in the trades I call. This week was a big week, but there will be other big weeks that I call trades. I mean, there are many big weeks. Not every week is a big week, but some are. So again, if you're grounded, you will get there. If you're rational, you will get there. And it's exciting to think about the money. And we did very well this week. Everyone did well this week. I got a lot of nice emails. But the thing is that, you know, I think a lot of people just don't understand how important it is to be educated in what to do. And the benefit of following a mentor, which is someone like me, I'm very, 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 very uh, precise in what I do. And um, I talk with uh, a forcefulness um, when I say something like, we're lower. <laughs> I say it and I mean it. And then that also is something that you will learn when you're going through the process and you're rating the gaps and you're doing it. Gosh, it's really dark out now. It's, time. it's just getting dark so early. Um, so let's take a look at it. So we're, we're falling tonight, but I don't, I don't know where we are in the morning. You could see that we could continue easily falling tomorrow. You could see that we could hold in reverse. So where we go will depend on the gap. And not only that, the rating. Will we gap up tomorrow? Will we gap down tomorrow? Will we be neutral? Will the buy the dippers try to come in tomorrow? I suspect that they will. So again, many traders, most retail traders like to buy dips in the market. We had a nice sell-off the last week, and it's particularly in the last 24 to 48 hours. So I would not be surprised if we were up tomorrow. I would not be surprised if we rallied out of the game tomorrow. I would not be surprised if the buy the dippers come in. And I will make a determination tomorrow morning if I do any new trades in either direction or lay low. Again, if you were with me this whole week, if you traded with me this week, if you took all my trades, you could take off tomorrow. We had a good week. You still could be in stuff, you know. So it's hard to say with this type of movement, a lot of volatility today, really to predict where we will open in the morning. So you just kind of kind of go wait and see. It's a good thing to take profits all along the way. I called options. You could still be in them. They're so far through the strike that expire tomorrow. <laughs> you, know, you can't mess them up. So you could still be in them. The conservative thing to do would be to get out of everything today. And today was one of those very, 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 very unusual days where you could hold the cues and the spies past the close and exit trades in the market ETFs past the close. You could have done that today and made more money. That is so rare. I did not do that. I don't like doing that, but you could have. That is not something that happens all the time. But the options were actually worth more past 4 o'clock today if you waited until 4 to sell off after 4. So some people may have done that. So very interesting day, very interesting week. Again, we'll be talking about and dissecting what the Fed said, everyone on TV in the next month. If you are interested in learning my method, you certainly can. Uh, someone emailed me yesterday, you trade really fast. Yes, the day trades are fast. The options are, you, are slower trades. So if you like the fast trading, do the day trades. If you don't, then do the options. You have your pick to do whatever works for you, depending on the size of your account and depending on how you like to trade. But the options trades, you can take your time. They don't go as fast. Of course, I like all trades to go fast, but you certainly do not have to be in and out in five minutes in an option, and I'm not. So if you like slower trades, options are for you. Fast trades are the day trades. We'll see what we get tomorrow. Good luck, everyone. If you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap course, there's only a few more classes this year. The class for September is September 30th and October 1st. And if you are interested in learning my method, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Be careful out there. Be rational with your trades. Think about what you're doing when you risk your money. But by all means, you must take risks in order to succeed. Good luck, everyone.